Welcome. The purpose of this video is to match our breath with our movement and to do the movements that will help us get better at takedowns. For the beginner, do these movements slowly with the priority of controlling your own body because if you can't control your own body, it's going to be more difficult to control somebody else's body. For the more advanced, visualize your opponent. Really feel like you're throwing somebody. Execute the movements with a burst of force and of course try to get as many reps in as possible possible. All right, here we go with the warm-up. We're going to start with leg swings. Start swinging your leg beginning with a small range of motion and go. Inhale as your leg goes back, exhale as your leg goes forward. So inhale as your leg goes back, exhale as your hand reaches for your opposite leg. Now slowly increase the range of motion as your hamstrings start to warm up. Keep swinging and prepare to switch legs. And go. We're doing the same thing on the opposite side. Start the movement small. Exhale as the leg goes back. Inhale as the leg goes forward. Exhale, leg goes back. Inhale, leg goes forward. Keep swinging your leg forward and prepare for left leg sweeps. And go. Swing your left leg outward to the side, then sweep inward. Repeat using the same leg throughout this 30 seconds. Inhale, outward swing. Exhale, inward sweep. Use your arms to keep balance or pretend you're using the sweep in a clinch, either a tie clinch or a 50-50 clinch. Inhale, outward swing. Exhale, inward sweep. Get ready to switch legs. And go. Same thing on the opposite side. Keep sweeping and prepare to squat next. And go. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, drive up. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, drive your hips forward and come up. Our takedown hit consists of four movements in descending time intervals, 60, 50, 40, and 30 seconds with 20 seconds rest between each. We're starting with a level change jump switch. From your preferred stance, lower level, jump switch, switch, then repeat. Lower level, jump switch, switch, and go. Lower level, breathe in, jump, shh, shh. Lower level, breathe in, jump, shh, shh. This level change is a key component to setting up a shot takedown. So imagine changing your level to shoot in for a double. Stay springy on the balls of your feet. Lower level, breathe in, jump, shh, shh. Keep moving. While moving, start thinking about transitioning into our head down, leg up movement. Happening in five, four, three, two, and start. Keep moving while listening to my voice. For those who are experienced, add a back step. So imagine performing an uchimata on your opponent. Keep a straight, lifted leg. 
having a bent raised leg will decrease the probability of your throw occurring, have it actually happening. Now imagine your head and foot are the ends of a seesaw. Feel free to switch legs or keep working the same leg if you're working a takedown on a particular side. Keep moving. While moving, start thinking about transitioning into jump squats happening in three, two, and go. Keep moving while listening. So for those who are experienced, add a back step entry into a shoulder throw, then drop to squat and repeat. So back step shoulder throw, down to a squat, jump up, back step shoulder throw, jump, <laughs> go down, jump back up. If your knees allow, try to keep on the balls of your feet throughout the entire squat movement and that goes for either beginners or if you're trying to do the advanced movement. So this creates a forward drive. Forward drive creates a higher probability of your opponent being thrown over your shoulder. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Find your breathing rhythm throughout this movement. Keep jump squatting. While moving, start thinking about transitioning into foot sweeps happening in three, two, and go. Foot sweep using alternate legs. Foot sweep left side, foot sweep right side. Exhale during the sweep. Inhale, then exhale sweep. Inhale, then exhale sweep. For more advanced, imagine you have your opponent in a 50-50 clinch with one overhook and one underhook, or you can even imagine a tie clinch. Think of an explosive torso twist during the foot sweep movement. and finish strong. Try to get as many reps as you can before our first rest. And rest for 20 seconds. Deep breaths in and out, keep moving. We're going to repeat this pattern at 50 seconds next. Keep moving. While moving, start thinking about transitioning into our level chain jump switches happening in five, four, three, two, and go. Lower level, breathe in, jump, switch, switch. Lower level, breathe in, jump, shh, shh. How much you push now is how much stronger you're going to be at the end of this. So give it everything. Keep moving. While moving, start thinking about transitioning into our head down, leg up movement. Happening in five, four, three, two, and start. Keep moving while listening to my voice. For those who are experienced, add a back step. So imagine performing an uchimata on your opponent. Feel free to switch legs or keep working the same leg if you're working a takedown on a particular side. Keep moving, you're doing great. Start thinking about our jump squats next in five, four, three, two, and go.
For those who are experienced, we're doing back step, shoulder throw, drop into a squat. Power up, step, shoulder throw, drop into a squat. Keep jump squatting. While moving, start thinking about transitioning into foot sweeps. Happening in three, two, and go. Ten more seconds, get as many reps in as possible and finish strong. And rest for 20. Keep on breathing. In, out, in one, two, three, out. We're going to repeat these same movements in our 40 second interval. Let's get ready to get back into our level change jump switches. Five, four, Three, two, one, and go. For those who have experience with Muay Thai, imagine these jump switches and switches like you're kicking. So try to really twist your hips, almost like you're turning your hips over for a kick. Swing your arms at the same time as the hip twist motion occurs, just like your kicks. Keep moving. While moving, we're going to be transitioning back into our head down, leg up movement in five, four, three, two, and go. Imagine really throwing an opponent. Exhale, raise foot, lower head. Inhale, lower foot, raise head. Remember your breathing pattern. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Switch legs if you want, or keep on working the same leg. Keep moving, you're doing great. Start thinking about our jump squats next in five, four, three, two, and go. Inhale down, exhale up. Stay on the balls of your feet if possible, if your knees feel up to it. For those who are experienced, we're doing back step, shoulder throw, drop into a squat. Power up, step, shoulder throw, drop into a squat. If your legs are burning, mine sure were. Just work through it, breathe through it. This is good. If it burns, that means you're making gains. Get ready to go into our foot sweeps next. Keep on moving. Start thinking about transitioning in five, four, three, two, and go. Now this is great. This is the time for you to hopefully maybe take a little break in, in your movement. <laughs> this is actually a break, believe it or not, but just keep on moving. Keep on moving fast. Imagine you're taking down your opponent. Inhale, then exhale, sweep. Inhale, then exhale, sweep. Imagine your opponent in a 50-50 clinch with this overhook and underhook, or imagine a tie clinch. Really imagine you're doing this foot sweep and it working on your opponent. Breathe and match that breath with your explosive movement. And rest for 20. Great job. So this is going to be the last round. Breathe. Keep moving. That's it. Now this round is where all the gains are made. Push it now and leave it all out there. How much you push now is how much stronger you're going to be at the end of this. Let's leave it all out there. Ready? going to get this last round banged out in five, four, three, two, and go. 
Lower level, breathe in, jump, shh, shh. Lower level, breathe in, jump, shh, shh. This is it. You need to take down. You need to take down to win everything. You're doing great. Keep moving. Let's think about transitioning into our head down, leg up movement happening in five, four, three, two, and go. Exhale, throw, inhale, come up. Exhale, throw, inhale, come up. This is the last time you're doing these Uchimata throws in these series, so make a count. Get as many reps in as possible. Really imagine throwing the person. Keep moving. We're going to transition into our jump squats in five, four, three, two, and go. Keep breathing. This is going to burn. That's good. We're making all the gains. This is it. Leave it all out there. Get as many reps in as possible. Keep moving. We're transitioning into our last move. This is the last move, guys. All right. So give it everything. Let's transition in five, four, three, two, foot sweep, alternating legs, and go. You're in a tie clinch. You're in your 50 50 clinch. There's only 20 seconds left on, <laughs> on the clock. You need to get a takedown in order to win everything. Last 10 seconds, finish strong. Get as many reps in as possible. You got it? This is it. There's five seconds left. You need this takedown to win. And we are done. Good job. <laughs> you might want to get in some stretching, some deep breathing, walk around. You did great. Good job. See you next time. Nails done. Girls with the nails done.